Hello everyone, Stefan here. Welcome to the stream. Um, tonight uh, I think I'm gonna do maybe a little uh, environmental for a change. Um, couldn't uh, really think of a... Uh, I mean there's uh, plenty of characters that I want to do eventually but uh, um, I thought uh, we've been doing uh, characters uh, consistently for the past few weeks so maybe uh, we are uh, for uh, uh, for a change, um, and um, uh, Sonia, she suggested to do uh, that I make a train station, which I find interesting. So I think that's what we're gonna do: a train station, like a like open, uh, not a subway or an underground, but more of, a, of an open. Uh, uh, train station so with maybe one of those big uh, diesel uh, trains they have a really uh, nice uh, look uh, like American trains like I like uh, American trucks uh, they're uh, they have some uh, very nice uh, kind of uh, old-fashioned designs I think uh, Europe uh, overall uh, looks uh, more modern in terms of uh, trucks and vehicles uh, but doesn't have the same charm as uh, the US for that because I feel like the US is more conservative in design which in that case uh, might be good so I, d I didn't uh, have time to find references uh, but uh, I guess we can do that uh, now um, we're going to look for uh, it could be a uh, could be in New York or actually since I want to place the the game more on the East Coast um, I think I could look at uh, something on the East Coast like I mean a transition is a transition in the end the only difference will be palm trees versus uh, maple trees you know uh, but uh, might look the same um let's say and even if i feel like all the train stations so i have to decide if i want to go for the old uh, sort of uh, art deco place like uh, a typical union station in uh, new york or if i go for more of a let's look at uh, new york union uh it's grand central i think Grand Central, that's how they call it. I think Union is uh, in uh, in uh, LA. Okay, so we're on uh, Google Map. Um, so I have to remember how this works. Um, Okay, satellite, first thing to do. There you go. Okay, they have mo model, 3D models, so that's good. The only thing is a tra um, it, uh, the, 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 the railway will be uh, underground. How do I go a 3D? Oh, 3D, there you go. Um, so that's your uh, typical, uh, I guess, uh, station how do i uh, do this okay well not the easiest to uh, navigate hmm. how can i change the uh, there has to be a way okay like this Mm hmm I don't know how you zoom in or out. Maybe plus. There you go. Okay, got the controls. In. Um. Okay. So there is this. 
uh, all those uh, buildings to get in the way a little bit but it's basically a big uh, square and it's more interesting uh, from um, the point of view of the street uh, in the facade is a, a nice art deco but uh, if I do something like this um, it would have to be a separate building and then I have to have uh, the platform for the train on the side with the actual tracks because uh, there you can see them it's all on the ground um, so that's one way let's uh, look at something else real quick let's look at uh, uh, what kind of an open uh, um, open to the sky station it could be uh, I'd say kind of a random east coast uh, city uh, mm -hmm. let's go for Philadelphia more modest um, city maybe a bit more approachable visually um, so there is this one apparently let's see how it looks train station go okay okay again big uh, massive building okay so that's a pretty good one actually I like this one because you got the tracks yeah that's pretty good I think we're gonna do this because uh, there's a few tracks and uh, it's pretty clear what it is oh wow what am I doing here no no Google Street oh thank you um, so here you see the platforms with the tracks there's even a train kind of like roughly modeled in so the trucks are there the platform are there in uh, the station you get into the station by uh, going through this thing pro probably that big bridge and then you can uh, access to any of those tracks through this uh, this bridge and also um, and there's this big uh, building and I think even this is part of it probably um, yeah it's massive wow oh this is stores Wendy's so those are stores so I guess the train station is probably this and maybe yeah that so it's like all this again sort of like the new uh, uh, this is more like a um, modern, uh, how do they call that? Modern Roman style, I think. Um, uh, Roman, I uh, uh, can't remember the last word. So I guess we could do something like this. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be bad. And take um, screen grab. Uh, which side is the best? Maybe this side because we see the uh, the bridge a little better. There's a parking lot, so let's let's take this one. Uh, sort of three quarter up. And it's more. I mean, it's for reference. I'm not gonna. It's like inspiration. It's more to uh, make a layout that makes sense in that because. Uh, uh, like I said, the form follows function. So uh, if there is um, um, some logic in the way uh, the layout is done, that uh, then it would look more like a train station. Always have to think about uh, the function of something. And I bet uh, most of the uh, train stations in the world have the same conclusion that you need some kind of bridge to access to any of the tracks and a big building on the side. So we'll all do this. Let me grab this. Um, I think it's this way to do a. 
I don't remember what's the shortcut to uh, make um, a screen grab. Can't remember. Um, maybe Shift Command and four. Yeah. I will take just this. Boom. Now it's over there. Kill that. There's the train station. It's going to be another fairly greenish, um, uh, grayish building, but uh, that's fine. I mean, uh, this will create some visual consistency. When you're in a city, you'll have like fairly decent uh, buildings around. Uh, lots of gray and concrete and then when uh, we'll transition to uh, areas that are more like the suburbs and then eventually the country countryside then uh, it'll be more uh, uh, more saturated so should look uh, nice on the on the map so let's go um, I finished the predator last time if you guys remember I ended up getting rid of all the stains on the, I mean, the the the, the, the spotting on the on the skin. Leave it uh, clear. Um, I'm happy with that. I think it's uh, it's it's good like this. So this guy was done. Um, just a, five seconds of maintenance. I'm gonna co uh, close the this uh, group go in environment and then here road church gas station office building uh, uh, where is the okay we get the hospital or oh, the prison is there okay um, actually I can uh, can totally uh, commit uh, all of this on one uh, one layer now. Don't need to uh, to group. So we'll get rid of that, and uh, we'll call that prison. So here I have uh, this large concrete tile. I'll start from there. I think I need a big um, tile, two by two, because uh, this is too small for. Us train station I mean a train station is a fairly large building like a prison or hospital it makes sense to have all the large buildings and large places to uh, uh, two by two on two by twos and then the um, on gameplay it'll matter too because you'll have more space to move around these than uh, the, sm the smaller environment <clears throat> okay so it's uh, I guess we're gonna put uh, down some sort of a squared building, something simple. I um, guess I could just reuse those cutters, they're fine. Um, and then we'll see, uh, probably adjust uh, the roof cutter a little bit so they don't look uh, the same, exactly the same. Um, but uh, that's a good starting point. So this will be our, um, let's say, shadow sign. I'm gonna put everything on a separate layer and keep the uh, the ground uh, um, separate because uh, then I can move uh, things around just the way I want. So, oh, um, start with uh, some kind of uh, building. Has to take uh, have a fairly larger footprint, I think. Probably around this, we'll have the bridge. Taking about that space, maybe, and the tracks over there, and then we'll put a train somewhere. 
Um, so I guess big squared building. I kind of like this though. I feel like I'm gonna do this sort of a. Uh, I'm gonna leave this and just do a make a, a big building that would uh, look uh, almost like this H uh, or an I from a uh, from top view. Yeah, I kind of like that. So our color in light would be this. So we'll make a first uh, first section of the building there. Mm. Like this. <clears throat> Try to evaluate uh, the overall size first and proportions. This, try to always uh, get a sort of a mental uh, rep representation, almost like a, a mental snapshot. Try to I try to imagine things filling in the blanks. Mm. I think we'll be able to move this a bit. We're gonna need some uh, some space there for the design, the building to breathe a little bit. Mm. So this will go slightly over. Like I uh, really like what they did there. So I'll do that. Also, um, this is uh, probably. Uh, to protect the people from rain, I assume. When they're waiting, because they're waiting underneath. Uh, how is it? Does it work? Yeah. So they're waiting underneath the platform out right there. They probably go under, and this is probably some kind of um, glass, so that the light can go through uh, this area and light uh, what's underneath. I think that's probably how it is. <clears throat> For now, let's focus on this. Um, okay. So, roof uh, will go for um, kind of a median color between the two of those. Take this at fifty percent, and we'll use this color for roof for now. It doesn't uh, it's not a big deal. Let's see what else do I have with flat roof. Let's see, I got this. Change the hue a little bit, which is not a good a uh, uh, bad idea for the the top. So the top is a little cooler than the building. I think we uh, we could do that. Let's figure out uh, basic layout first. Not too worried about uh, about colors at, at this point. Try to get a bit close, obviously, because uh, for readability. But I'm not too worried about getting the exact right uh, color for now. Okay, so let's have a look at this from this distance. I think we want that building a little higher, probably. So let's take this. Maybe.
be about that high. Don't want it to be too low. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> so to okay. Uh, First section, then now we're gonna do this uh, large uh, area. Those two wings will be similar, except that we'll only extend uh, this one for bridge and for just variation. I don't want it to, to be uh, completely symmetrical, you know, it's not a very um, interesting. So copy this guy over. This will be a good um, good starting point. So is it the same height? Yeah, I think I'm going to make uh, uh, the main section a bit lower. Let's see how it goes. Uh, maybe even more. Mm -hmm. It's going to be an under shortcut. Um, uh, not too many people uh, know this, but uh, you don't have to uh, move the layers uh, using the mouse like this. You can, uh, if a layer is selected, like this, for instance, um, if you look here without touching, I can move it up and down. It's a command on the Macintosh and the brackets for up and down the layers and you can also uh, on on the pc it will be control brackets and also um is there even more fancy uh, option and bracket will let you select uh, a layer so for instance i want to select this guy i can just go like this and then control and then command bracket i can decide if i want to move it up or down. So basically, I can uh, let's say concrete tile above everything. Uh, that's the, the the copy actually. Uh, this one, for instance. See, I can move it like this. So um, it's it's pretty uh, pretty good for that. <laughs> Um, I realize that I use a lot of shortcuts and sometimes, I mean, I don't really mention it. So you don't see me going to edit, do this, do this, because I have uh, most of the shortcuts in mind and uh, some that don't exist. I even uh, map them. So uh, I realize that uh, for people who don't are not too familiar with Photoshop might be a little confusing not, uh, seeing me and not uh, uh, going into the menu, so I have to keep this in mind, I think, so that uh, everything uh, stays uh, a bit interesting and uh, uh, clear. Um. Mm. 
Okay, <clears throat> this guy. We need to extend this. Hmm. I haven't slept uh, a lot uh, recently and uh, I feel so tired right now, even though I slept uh, this afternoon, but uh, um, I'm still uh, very uh, sleepy at the moment. And uh, I'm happy because I got um, the uh, I received my copy of uh, Binding of Isaac Four Souls, which is the um, the card game uh, done uh, made by Edmund Macmillan, the creator of uh, <clears throat> Binding of Isaac, one of my favorite games, video games, and he made this card game based on the same uh, universe, same uh, world. It's called Four Souls, <clears throat> and it was uh, really fast to make it. It was a crowdfunded uh, game on uh, Kickstarter, and uh, it took only uh, five months all uh, from the uh, them announcing uh, the uh, opening the crowdfunding uh, page to uh, delivery at uh, my home. Uh, five months. Uh, honestly, it's uh, unheard of for uh, Kickstarter, especially uh, uh, for people that don't necessarily have the experience creating one already. So I assume he got uh, smart enough to get uh, people involved that are know very, that very well, because you have to find manufacturing, uh, probably in China. There was close to 40,000 uh, backers. So you know you have to uh, build uh, 40,000 uh, copies of the game box and um, cards, obviously all the dices and and plus all the the, the extras, uh, exclusive on Kickstarter like the pin, poster, T-shirt, um, and then some figures. They did some really uh, nice figures of the main characters. Seven out of the fourteen that you can start the game with. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, so um, it did. A, it did a really. They did a really good job in the end. And, uh, I posted on um, on in, uh, Twitter. Took some pictures and uh, posted it because I was uh, so pleased with the overall quality of everything. Nothing was missing. No missing component. Um, all uh, very, uh, very well done, and all good quality. So this will be under. I don't want this this building to be as wide as the other one. Actually, this is. This probably needs to be uh, longer now that I think of it. Unless I want a little bit of space there. But there's going to be this section of the bridge that I need to add. I feel like it could be uh, longer. Mm. Maybe about that. And then uh, this one will be uh, recessed, like underneath. Um, something like, try to find a good 
good uh, placement for it. Maybe this is not bad. Then I'm just going to copy this, this one over. Uh, so Command J, uh, it's a, a layer, um, creates another layer based on the layer you've selected. And then uh, you can move it. Uh, move it uh, down in the list of uh, all the, the layers. So I have to keep this uh, line consistent to decide uh, how high this is. So one way I can do this is take um, another layer and just uh, um, extend that line and uh, this has to uh, align perfectly with that which uh, it does so meaning uh, we're good with that this uh, second wing <coughs> Okay. I don't want to put all uh, any detail right now. I'm just uh, uh, gonna build all the main sections and the main elements so that we see uh, how balanced this looks and uh, uh, it needs to have a nice uh, uh, rhythm uh, for for this sort of environment. You need a nice rhythm uh, of uh, shapes, uh, big, uh, large shapes, and medium and small. A bit like this, you know, uh, small, medium, large, same thing here, uh, small details, and then a bit medium, detail, and then large. So that's an interesting balance. That's uh, what we want to uh, find uh, in this case. So here um, I'm going to extend that uh, bridge. So, um, <clears throat> other layer as well. Um, actually, you know, I don't even need to create a new layer. I can reuse this one. Like uh, so fairly low. Now all I have to do is uh, oh, do this sort of thing. Now you see it. Um, two. Uh, hold on. Uh, here we have that. This. And then that. <clears throat> when I lay down the tracks real quick, I think uh, tracks will be uh, so small. I mean, what you see uh, from this distance is mainly um, sort of a brownish uh, uh, base, and on top of that, uh, two lines for tracks. Uh, may not be able to uh, really. Uh, show that uh, detail is going to be too big but uh, uh, too small I mean but we can uh, try and see uh, what's the best scale for that another layer so let's use um, 
any sort of uh, brownish uh, color we'll go um, not too uh, too dark either Just a bit too green to saturate in as well I'll find the uh, uh, yeah, it's not bad and everything will end up looking a bit uh, 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 washed out I always paint uh, like I think I mentioned this with the low contrast and then uh, it's just an habit and then in the end when I'm confident about everything being uh, okay I usually crank uh, the, uh, the contrast so how wide the tracks should be let's see mm. uh. cuz i need at least 2 but if i make 2 i think this building uh, imagine if i have 2 tracks two sets of tracks then the train will be fairly big imagine the train there the diesel might be about that big and so this will look too small I think this building unless it's a tiny station so I think I need to be careful with that so we'll go uh, very very uh, thin tracks I think which um, unfortunately uh, means that um, we won't see much of uh, the design of the diesel. I would have liked to make a nice train, but uh, I think uh, we can't sacrifice the the scale just to have a, a detail train. I can always uh, add a, a train as a separate, almost a separate environment. You get the station, and again, you get the can make a diesel, you know, with a uh, a few uh, carts where you could get into why not let's see real quick uh, how this would look with uh, several ones so we have to have a platform in between the tracks so uh, keep that in mind uh, the platform is wider than the tracks uh, so it would be about there um, but I think four, two, I mean, two platforms and maybe three tracks, three sets of, uh, of tracks, maybe. Mm. Uh. So we could uh, have uh, about that size, that scale. Mm. So let's imagine um, um, diesel train. I don't have. A, I'm not a. I don't know trains, so um, I can't uh, type in the uh, exact uh, model of a train that looks good. But uh, this is uh, this is good enough. So those are the kind of diesel that uh, I really like, with the big, uh, almost like looks like a big truck, almost with uh, the the hood there. Um, this is more what you see uh, in Europe. Um, there are electrical train in trains in Europe. I don't think you have uh, uh, diesel trains over there. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, this is a. Uh, Actually, SNCF is a French, uh, it's the French uh, Railways uh, company. It's a public company. And uh, it means an Société Nationale des Chemins de Fer, so National uh, Society Railway, uh, or National Railway Association or something. Uh, you see, uh, this is more the kind of train, very boxy, very simple, that we have in France. And uh, those are the electrical uh, power lines. If you've been to Europe, you you know this. 
and this is more like the American way, no power lines, <clears throat> big diesel. And those are more for our passengers. And if in a, the, I really like the ones that look almost like um, abstract. There's no, almost like there's no space for a driver. And those for, for, for freight train. Let me see if I can uh, find the diesel freight. Freight train. Yeah, so that's, uh, those are really cool. So this is a very different design. Those are more like for, in my mind, at least for uh, freight. There's another one there. Oh, see, look at how many cars. So it's crazy um, where we live in that area where we live, the southwest United States. I don't know if, if it's the same in the in the east, uh, but and in the southwest we have a, a lot of space, uh, huge uh, uh, expenses of uh, land, um, you know, wildlife, mountains and stuff. And um, yeah, there's the freeways, but it's also the train is a big uh, thing because when the pioneers uh, came, they first settled on the east coast, and then uh, when colonization of the west started, they moved toward the west um, using, uh, you know, um, uh, coaches um, and then uh, uh, stage coaches, and then uh, when they got uh, to the west coast, they immediately. Uh, uh, thought about how to uh, better travel across the the country because uh, to uh, most uh, there is a funny sketch uh, from uh, uh, that guy I can't remember his name the comic artist he's uh, he's saying uh, we can't imagine the, how lucky we are now to be able to cross the United States in a few hours uh, but back then uh, you were almost a different family from the time you you. Uh, you started the, the journey to the time you you, you got there uh, you got kids and some people died and you, you were a different person by the time you got there and um, so um very very long and uh, hardest uh, uh, journey and uh, very dangerous too. so that's why uh, they figured we need a better way to um, link those two uh, coasts of the con country to create to unify the country and uh, and to um, um, facilitate uh, uh, business and uh, commerce and um, so that's uh, when they decided to go in the big uh, that's when the big uh, uh, railroad companies uh, set up um, and started uh, to go in business and um, and they got a lot of uh, Chinese uh, um, immigrants coming. Uh, they came from China, and they, so they had a lot of uh, very cheap labor to uh, build all the tracks. So most of the tracks that have been laid down in the Southwest United States uh, was uh, really on the back uh, of uh, of the Chinese uh, uh, immigrant population. A very hard job to do as you can imagine uh, temperature 100 degrees outside and you have to lay down the uh, miles and miles of uh, uh, those uh, metallic uh, uh, tracks very hard job but anyway kind of digress there there's a really awesome game about uh, that uh, uh, talks about this uh, era and uh, and then uh, it's uh, one of my favorite uh, strategy games of all time uh, called um, Railroad Tycoon. It was done by Sid Meier. Uh, not uh, Sid Meier. Um, um, yeah, Sid Meier. Yeah, Sid Meier. Uh, he's, uh, he was, uh, he's one of the best uh, um, strategy games uh, designer. He made uh, Pirates. Uh, that was very good. And also the one that everyone knows about uh, civilization, and, and I remember Railroad Tycoon. I was back in France, and uh, I figured uh, 
I was kind of bored and uh, there were not too many games coming out. It was for Atari ST at the time, Amiga, not for the PC. And there, even for the PC, there was, uh, it's not like Steam today where every day you can go on Steam and find, uh, um, you know, uh, 50 different uh, new games that just came out uh, during the day. At the time, uh, it was very sporadic. Uh, every, uh, um, you know, release of a new game was uh, kind of a big deal because there were not too many people could afford making them. And um, and I remember I was, uh, there were long periods of drought, you know, game drought where there was nothing uh, coming out and uh, it doesn't happen anymore. And I was, it was in summer, I remember I was in vacation and I was kind of bored and I was looking for a game. And then I went to the store, or stores at the time, no uh, download, and I found this game uh, called Railroad Tycoon, and it was like this uh, strategy game about a uh, railway. And I was not I was not interested in railway. Um, I liked uh, strategy games, but uh, um, most of my games were action games back then when I was younger. So it was definitely not a, a game for me. And I still. Uh, I was so bored, I decided to buy it, and uh, I started playing it, uh, I remember around uh, dinner time, after dinner, around 8 uh, at night, and I thought, I'm just going to fire it and uh, have a quick look at it, see how, how bad it is, because I was convinced that I would get bored really quickly. And then the next time, uh, uh, next thing, uh, you know, um, uh, is... Uh, the wee hours of the morning, I hear the the sounds of the birds chirping outside, waking up, and I'm still playing uh, Railroad Tycoon, and I have no intention of stopping. And I played for almost straight 24 hours. I played through the the night, the the whole day, barely stopped to eat, and then the whole the next night as well. So 24, more than uh, 24 hours, almost, yeah, 24 hours of uh, continuous uh, play. It was just fantastic, so good, amazing game. Railroad Tycoon, the first one, if you have the opportunity, find it on uh, Good Old Games, for instance, uh, go for it, it's a really good one. So anyway, that was a long, uh, long ass discussion for reading, I think. Um, but I guess I like to share game history. That's what uh, everything is about. That's uh, what it's all about in the stream too. Pixel art, but also um, vintage uh, games and films and all that uh, uh, good stuff. So we could do this. Anyway, my point was that you know, there was a point to all this. In the Southwest, we have a, a really, really long freight trains. And I'm, when I'm saying long, I mean... 80 carts, you know, long, and they go fairly slow. And uh, when you're at the uh, uh, the rail crossing, you could wait. You could be there for 15 minutes straight up uh, for the train to pass, and uh, you have time to count the carts. So really, super impressive. And I remember driving in the desert around Mojave, and uh, that's where you can see the trains. Uh, uh, through the desert, there's uh, almost no road. Uh, there's one uh, freeway going through Mojave, and that's it. The rest is uh, dirt trails, and there is uh, uh, the there's the rare, uh, the tracks, the railroad tracks. And I remember seeing uh, we were on those almost uh, flat sands. It was like perfect blue sky, a bit of mountains in the background, very uh, very flat, very um, uh, ominous landscape. And uh, in the distance, we see this small uh, train uh, that is, uh, it looks like a snake. It's so long, incredibly long, but it's tiny in the distance and, uh, and then gets closer to us as we drive. And uh, it was such a, such a vision of America already, the vast expanses of space and that, that uh, train that even though it was uh, probably 60 cars long, looked uh, tiny in this uh, uh, awesome environment so yeah good memories of that of uh, discovering the united states so i guess we'll do a 
probably some kind of diesel like this. The one thing they have for them is that they're usually pretty colorful. Um, and then I think we'll do, um, we'll see. I'm kind of tempted to do a, a freight train because they're simple, simpler carts. They're essentially, um, um, how do you call that? Containers. Might be easier to represent. And maybe we can have like a tank track. Mm. So I just want to figure what kind of size I need. There are oftentimes uh, this uh, orange and black or red like this. Um, let me find a, a proper diesel that I really like. I like this one a lot. Um, and also like, uh, there's anything else. This one is cool. I think I'll do something like this. This one. Sorry if I take a long time getting into a side uh, uh, conversations there. I can't help it. I'm too uh, chatty. <laughs> uh, so, okay, let's have a very simple representation of our train there. Uh, can't be too uh, dark. We'll go for uh, for kind of a blue and yellow. <clears throat> So it's really, uh, it's uh, very, uh, takes the whole space of the, of the tracks. And then there would be uh, some darker things there for all the, all the, the wheels and all the stuff that's underneath. It's probably, you know, something like this. Bit. And then uh, front uh, yellow, whatever. I wish this would update real time. Sometimes it doesn't. Showed you that bug last time. Uh, it's pretty, pretty annoying that it does that. So we got our thing there. Suggestion of uh, maybe uh, uh, those uh, like uh, the uh, cabin for the driver, um, and then some more stuff in the front. But uh, so you see, the result of this is that uh, it is a uh, incredibly small um, very very tiny let's have um, the side represented a bit of lighting so this would be the side of the train So as you can uh, see, it's uh, so small that uh, there is really uh, no, um, not much uh, we can uh, we can represent. I have to look at uh, how uh, they have two. Sometimes they have uh, uh, two diesel in the front and two diesel in the back. They need four to uh, in order to uh, move this uh, 
enormous mass of uh, metal, you know, uh, probably uh, thousands of tons that they have to push across the the, the country. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So maybe this would be uh, diesel. Um, it is so small. I really can't. Uh, it looks like a truck almost from uh, this uh, this uh, distance, uh, or a bus. And I wonder why. Maybe because we can see separate. Uh, yeah, separate wheels. I think we uh, we have to suggest that one uh, continuous uh, set of uh, wheels and stuff. If we go for uh, if we have a a separation. That's what makes it look like, I think, uh, some kind of road vehicle. <clears throat> Maybe it's a bit longer too. Tiny, uh, tiny train. And uh, so that would be a... Uh, um, and usually they have a logo on the side, so we could uh, try that. And be surprised sometimes, uh, just adding uh, uh, one thing uh, makes it more like uh, look like uh, a, a logo. See, I think this uh, just adds a little bit of something, makes it look more like um, a diesel. Because they uh, they have they usually have those uh, big uh, lettering and colors on the side. Like this. Then we can do the uh, can make the tracks, the the carts. So let's say we'll have a first. Uh, car maybe I can just copy the the diesel and then uh, essentially remove um, go for a different color can just uh, adjust the hue for that we'll make it red they, uh, they have a lot of red containers and always the uh, same kind of colors And this is the, uh, the front. And uh, it's really about the aspect ratio, how um, long it is compared to uh, why. I think it's not too bad. So this would go uh, behind. And then uh, we can have uh, another one. And this would be a different color. Let me look at uh, uh, um, freight train containers and you will see a nice picture see there you go so uh, oh sometimes they have a uh, two on top that's nice uh, actually I wonder if I could do this uh, maybe that would uh, differentiate the uh, uh, the cards from uh, separate the cards from the the diesel hmm the locomotive maybe I should uh, should uh, do this uh, or there's the train that is uh, almost like a, um, uh, has been, uh, you know, transporting uh, 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 numerous uh, containers for one single company. So then they have uh, maybe a, a few of them the same color. Look at how crazy. That's uh, really insane. Um, trying to find the best. Uh, oh, see, there you go. That's exactly what I was talking about. Look at this. It's crazy. It's, I, I find it beautiful. Desert, that's what we saw. Desert, and then this long snaking train. How many? Uh, look at this. Um, how many cards do you think?
Uh, just uh, crazy. Counting them real quick. About 30 from here to there, roughly. Sixty, eighty, right there. See, and we don't even see the end of it. So it could be a hundred cards strong. So the unfortunately, we don't have a lot of. Uh, uh, space for that on on ours um so i wonder if i want to go for the double uh, thing uh, maybe um in that case i need to have uh, this one a little uh, not as high <clears throat> Maybe uh, around that size, it will be. Uh, it would be there, and then uh, just double it. Yeah, I feel like this uh, looks more like a furniture. Now you can, uh, because the aspect ratio is uh, higher, you can really make uh, the the diesel from the um, from the cards. It's really uh, about uh, finding this uh, the the things that are iconic enough that people are going to uh, that your brain is going to identify as what it is, even though it's very small, because what you perceive is uh, just the main uh, uh, the aspect ratio, the size and um but that's enough to convey what you you want you know maybe a less uh, prominent separation between the two Let's say we have uh, this. <clears throat> Maybe change the color a bit. Oh, uh, collapse with the. So we have one set of. Uh, Try and find that uh, right uh, color. Um, mm. Oh, maybe this was better. Let's say we have uh, this. Can have white ones, maybe. So that's one. Oh. Then uh, another one. Wonder if I need uh, so just a bit of space between the two. I can't have them too separated. Uh, but uh, well, actually, if I change the color, that will be enough. I have a light one. Um, uh, I'll 
the <clears throat> maybe you re use some of these colors. Um, It's not the most, uh, um, maybe the most exciting uh, stream ever. Uh, I'm well aware of uh, of this, but uh, not all the uh, the the projects are always uh, as interesting. Some of them are seem a bit more mundane. But uh, it's important to try and uh, I think find uh, the fun in uh, whatever you're you're doing. You know. So um, let's try. I'm gonna try and have more um, <clears throat> at least one more car. Maybe um, blue. Uh, some sort of uh, blue. Uh, uh, kind of a dark blue like this. And maybe another one. Oh, um, I think we'll keep this uh, color the same though. <clears throat> Even on this one, we can go uh, darker. Uh, maybe about that dark uh, for the. The wheels. Then we do that. So now we have. Um, where's the diesel? There. I uh, need to be closer. I think. Oh, that's a mistake. Like uh, like this maybe. Um, looks like uh, it's a not straight version issue with this guy. No, actually like this, and then this guy, like that. Let's say, can we have uh, one more card, I wonder. We'll go for a similar color, but just with the, just a slight bit of variation in it. Different hue. Or uh, slightly different hue, saturation. Um, and then, um, Maybe a bit lighter. Like uh, this. Uh, keep, um, yeah, no. keep this the same for wheels. There's no reason that they would change color. <clears throat> So like that, and then uh, we need to probably uh, 
So you have to imagine that uh, this uh, keeps going. So I wonder how I'm gonna, I've never been in that situation where I have to cut something because all buildings, they're always, uh, I made sure that they end uh, uh, right there at the edge of uh, of the tile. <clears throat> but um, only roads would uh, naturally uh, keep going like this. You imagine that uh, it keeps going. But um, for a physical thing like the train, um, how do I do that? Should I uh, just uh, cut it right there? Uh, so um, let's say remove uh, what's outside. It's uh, weird, right? It's it's too weird. So hmm. Guess we'll, we'll do that. We'll just leave it. Uh, like this kind um, of uh, bothers me a bit because it almost looks like the train stops there um, but uh, what can you do I think there's not that many solutions to that uh, to that problem um, do that okay so let's say uh, that's our so first a uh, freight train um, and then uh, I think we could have a uh, um, some sort of other um, maybe back there. Like uh, just another diesel that's uh, just sitting there by itself, not uh, not ready to go. Um, you know why not? This, however, I have to cut the tracks there. <laughs> so now maybe our um, This diesel might be a different uh, color altogether. Maybe some kind of uh, yellow. Doesn't look uh, very good for now, but bear with me for a second. Oh, we'll keep uh, those. Uh, uh, the um, <coughs> uh, wheels. Uh, what else? See, those are one, two, three, four. I think because of perspective, we can see it, but. It's like a four diesel. Um, let's say um, fair train diesel. Um, just want to find a, another example of color. So we've got this. Yeah, kind of like orange and maybe black on top, like this. So it would be. Um, all orange maybe like uh, that and um, darker roof maybe Or just like that, you know, look like a different color altogether. It's not really lighting, it's more of a. We'll do that, and then uh, maybe uh, if we can convey that it's uh, looking the other way, maybe. Mm 
if I want to go for more of a, a black and a orange. I get this maybe. Okay, um. Oops, sorry, I knocked uh, the mic. So another long diesel there. Uh, kind of uh, there. And then I don't think I'm going to have more trains. So I wonder um, if I would be able to on my tracks like here. <clears throat> I wonder if we can have one more set of tracks because those are big uh, railway station I feel like uh, what uh, they have that's very uh, I really say the train station is going to have uh, all the tracks are converging from everywhere you know into this big uh, uh, network you see it when you get if you've been in a big city and when you get to uh, the main uh, train station uh, you see a uh, more and more and more tracks um, uh, meeting your own track, your alone, and then there's a, usually a couple of uh, tracks to go uh, one way and the other, and that's it. And then there uh, you see more and more, and then by the time uh, you get to the station, it's like a, a soup, like a, a gigantic uh, network of entangled um, uh, tracks. It's uh, really impressive. <clears throat> Now the question, can we have this uh, even, uh, even, uh, smaller, the reason for that is, uh, like I said, I want to convey uh, the scale as much as I can, and that's, uh, that's a big part of it. Um, so let's uh, try um, I'm going to try to see if I can uh, if I can do that, so you'd have his uh, own uh, set there. Almost looks like a little shadow, so that's nice. And then uh, we'd have another. They're pretty close together, I think. I don't need this anymore. One, two, three. Well, no, they're not that close, I guess. Uh, we have to leave enough room to have the platform, and uh, really the platform has to look uh, way wider than the tracks. That's why I think one line for the tracks is uh, better. Uh, maybe we can do something like that. Um, copy this uh, over again. Let me get rid of the train for now. Just to make sure I align this properly. Yeah, there you go. Um, get rid of that. So those are the tracks. Um, Uh, it's time I didn't make a mistake here. Um, hold on. <clears throat> mm. 
also there. Number two. This is kind of nice too. We could have um, some tracks that are very close together because there is no platform in between. I think that's nice. We can have, uh, for instance, uh, uh, so we'll have this uh, track and then we'll have this one and then here we'll have a kind of a double um in the here in the and then uh like this um and then we can even uh, have a uh, one set of tracks there um on the outside that would uh, then uh, meet this one you know And it's okay if it's uh, fairly uh, abstract and uh, oh, and a bit uh, complex to read because that's what you get, I think, from a, a train station. Is just the uh, uh, the, comp the just the complexity of everything. Maybe even uh, closer, or maybe uh, actually, you can do the opposite to get more of a a clear, nicer transition between the two. Hold on. <laughs> um, it's not uh, quite right. Something like like uh, this would be would be good. Mm. Try to center this a bit more. How close do they get? Maybe something like that. Um, and then. Uh, And then uh, now we can uh, put our train back together. Well, this will be one train. Call this train. This is a diesel. There we go. And those are the tracks. And I think uh, they uh, probably need to be darker. I don't want too much contrast because they'll be they'll become uh, they look uh, wider. Like I've always mentioned, the less contrast there is between two different uh, uh, things, the, uh, the 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 smaller this line would look, and the thicker it would look, uh, the more contrast you have in it. So train there this there um, okay then we need to continue the tracks oh it's kind of a happy accident there mm. um, Okay, I'll take uh, this mm, and have them oh mm. get rid of uh, 
the structure because I want to make sure that uh, everything is aligned properly. Um, what? Uh, okay. Oh, not uh, very good with the selecting things. There. Okay. Then we can. Uh, I can do that. This is kind of nice, uh, some sort of a, uh, you know, little uh, patch of uh, sand or something in between. A little lighter in between the uh, the tracks. <clears throat> and we'll have maybe a little a suggestion of little uh, railroad, uh, you know, signs or things like this. <clears throat> Add the structure back. So this needs to be very dark underneath, almost black. Uh, this is where the contrast needs to be high for shadows. <clears throat> This will be a open to let the the train go through it. section oh, there um, it's not uh, the easiest uh, thing to do there It's the best uh, shape of all those uh, different uh, openings. Uh, actually, maybe this was a bit better. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the simplest there. So we have uh, our uh, building. The tracks get inside it. Like so. Then, okay. The structure is done. We'll have the stuff on the rooftops. Gonna want to. Mm, uh, 
right now we can't read this uh, uh, above this one but uh, that's because there's no uh, separation there so what we'll do is um we'll do the the uh, the sort of uh, inset there that will help us separate uh, the um, the two structures. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna do it uh, a bit different. <coughs> so it's in uh, this. Uh, you imagine a little wall, and uh, since it's uh, the light is coming from this side, and uh, this is the shadow of the wall that you see. Maybe um, I I like this color, so maybe we'll have a little suggestion of the wall like this, and then here well, it's kind of like. Uh, hold on. We'll, uh, hmm. Interesting like this. Mm. I did I do not so yeah about the same there one color then shadow okay. structure and hopefully uh, now if we put this uh, so it reads a bit better here we'll have windows so I'm not to worry um, maybe this looks a bit uh, fat actually I wonder if I should uh, do a um, simple like, uh, like I did there. Um, I don't know. The office uh, there I had uh, more space, so two uh, two lines. Mm. Here we can do a little bit of a different. Uh, different color um. Maybe just uh, one line is uh, thick enough. 
to make that sort of a border. It's uh, probably enough. Oh, this looks uh, funky there. Get rid of that. But this is interesting because uh, it's a little bit of a, an overlap. We'll do this for now. Then um, some uh, windows will be there. So we'll do dark windows. <clears throat> them uh, roughly say uh, maybe like so we could oh I'll tell you what actually a little bit of volume and I think um, something that could be interesting having uh, this sort of a uh, architecture there or this part where the window is it's a bit more recessed so then um, <clears throat> then I would have to do so just that there is a little uh, and since it's all in shadow it needs to be a fairly low uh, contrast because um this uh, edge is uh, lit by the the sky not the sun anymore so I can't uh, do uh, this you know this would look too weird <clears throat> don't even need probably oh. Step here, okay. So maybe we can have that. This is a mistake, too. This uh, adds a uh, Interesting uh, visual uh, complexity. And then we have our uh, second set of uh, windows. Ah. 
like that. And this guy repeat that section. Like this. Uh, so two, two, two. Uh, wait. Two, 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 two. That's actually right. Okay. So a little bit of a detail there. It's uh, kind of a slow paced, but uh, you know. That's so, how um, you build things, uh, one thing at a time. <clears throat> I wonder if um, this looks a bit uh, too big, that border looks a bit out of scale. I think I'm going to go with just one simple uh, line of darker wall. Yeah, I think I like this better actually. What do you guys think? But I think it's better this way. Um. <clears throat> Here we can have a suggestion of uh, two little windows or something. That's good. Let me see, it's a bit of a mess with the, all the layers that I have. Okay. So now this st structure there can be a simple uh, mirror. So uh, get it to align. Uh, like that. Windows, bridge is coming. So collapse this. Um, okay, then we have a sec here, another building. So we'll do a same a simple little trick there. Actually, hold on. Now this should be, I'm confused there. This should be lighter because it's receiving the light. What, uh, what am I doing? It should be, right? Yeah, that wouldn't make sense. I'm gonna do this so we can see it a bit better. Since I've uh, modified this one, I'm gonna copy it over a second time. Uh, yeah, there. Just for alignment. Ah. Uh. Then get rid of this one, get that. Wait a minute, I have two on that. Okay, just this, this one, and that, and this. 
Okay, so uh, things are taking shape slowly. Um, here there would be a, a shadow from this spot onto there. So we need to uh, to do that. <clears throat> I mean, wouldn't be very, uh, wouldn't extend too far because there's not that much difference. Uh, and then uh, what I need to do is, let me collapse this all together. It'll be just easier to work. Gonna do this uh, simpler, like this. <clears throat> and here, I want a difference in the, um, in in the hue, uh, brightness between the shadow uh, and the part of the wall that it's in shade. Because the part of the wall that's in shade will be darker than the shadow that's on top there because the shadow that's on top here is lit by the sky as well so um so it would be there would be a bit of a difference there but i mean obviously all that stuff is see that it creates a bit of a difference it's, it's very small and subtle so you don't see, you don't see much of it but it's fine and also that i have to have uh, shadows for um building it i'm gonna put the shadows in just because um I think um, it's just better to have them early. Um, this can go on underneath. Uh, actually, yeah, underneath most of it, except the tracks. Tracks will be shadowed too. So let's say that it will be our shadow. So we'll do. Don't worry how how dark this is for now. It's uh, no problem. We'll fix this with the opacity. Um. <clears throat> confusing there so just gonna uh tracks mm. okay It's not the same. Way. Oh, that's why okay, full opacity. <clears throat> oh, I keep uh, selecting the wrong color. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, okay. This bit of a Lots of uh, manipulation of uh, layers. So uh, this uh, building is higher than this one. So uh, the the uh, shadow at this point will extend a little further away. So we can uh, have a longer shadow. All of this is in shadow, right? I think you could go even uh, further down to the edge. <clears throat> and now I'm with the opacity I can set up the right uh, this uh, don't need this uh, anti aliasing anymore. Um Hmm. I'm just gonna paint this uh, same color. Don't need uh, anything there. Okay, <clears throat> so got that. That's our shadow. Uh, here? No, wait, there. Shadow, we'll name this right away. Um, the same there. So this, oh, sorry, I knocked the mic again. Very sorry about that. So in here, um, this uh, part of the building will shadow this area. So um, then this I need to do in the in the building itself. So uh, we're gonna choose a slightly uh, different color. Again, for the same reason, this shadow is not as deep as this one because this is a, a vertical, uh, uh, well, actually, yeah, yeah, it would be different. And it's also because we want to be everything to be a bit uh, more clear so it'll look just a bit nicer I think yeah because if I make the technically it should be the same then it's hard to make the difference between uh, or what we can do is this uh, pretend the shadow is this right <clears throat> and then um, we can go even further and then what we need here is some kind of some kind of edge there just to delineate the, where the wall stops you know uh, Hmm. 
So we can do that. So that's uh, sort of uh, option number one. And uh, option number two is to do uh, this. Keep us same, but then have a lighter color for this shadow. And I tend to like this a bit better. So I think that's uh, what we'll do there. Like that. a bit of an angle due to the sun, the angle of the sun. Mm. So that would be a, uh, and push it even further. It uh, doesn't really make a lot of sense, but it goes so far, but I guess that's fine. Just want to make sure that things look um, legible, you know, readable. Doesn't really matter if we push the shadows a little too far or we take some liberties with that. <clears throat> so now we are go back to the structure there. We um, um, uh, I don't know if I should do um. Just a little, uh, little edge there. It's kind of a, it's kind of a nice little touch. Same thing as here. <clears throat> Actually, I wonder if I should do the, the opposite because uh, um, on this spot to be recessed a bit. <clears throat> simpler there <clears throat> maybe we can just oh yeah hold on If I want a little line there, but probably not. We'll just. I'd like to feel a little bit the uh, the edge of uh, that building, so we can go for just a little outline, not too much, like that. Um. So, boom, try to be consistent in everything. Um, I need to be consistent in the way I treat the shadows there. Uh, <clears throat> maybe a bit lighter there. 
better contrast would make sense. Same thing here. Uh, So, mm. this is those extra little pixels there come from from this area. So I think I'm gonna have to maybe push that building in. Oh, sorry. So it's more clear. The separation there, you know. Over that part. So that. Okay. <clears throat> um. Do I want to do an extra edge there? Uh -huh. That's why um, uh, things that are a little long and uh, tedious like this, um, I think VODs are good because you can uh, kind of scrub through and uh, you don't have to watch uh, every uh, little, uh, you know, every single pixel put on screen. You can just simply uh, go to the, uh, the parts that uh, there's your more stuff happening. Um, mm. really finding the different values, how uh, contrasted things need to be and all that to read uh, properly. <clears throat> Corners always uh, Kind of an issue there. Uh, can't get the perfect corners. Okay, so I think. Oh, now I want to. Hold on, there's something weird there. Don't know where that comes from. Um. <clears throat> Um, okay. Like I said the corners there always look a bit a bit weird. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, collapse now everything in uh, one. <clears throat> I don't need uh, more 
I don't think I'm going to change this uh, anymore. I think it's it's fine. The bridge uh, adds a lot, but it will make this nicer. Now, on the rooftops will have all this complexity thing. <clears throat> What else? Um, so we'll do um, some other um, oh, wrong layer again. Okay. Okay. a little bit to um, see this uh, pixel almost uh, simulate the, the, the depth of the actual wall there inside then uh, so here there wouldn't be any um, sort of way to exit there probably I mean We could have a little exit there, I guess, or something. <clears throat> this diesel would have to move up. I think I'm gonna, it's getting a bit conflicted there. So maybe in that area, or probably a play with the positioning of the trains uh, up to the very uh, last moment because uh, it'll depend on everything else um, here we can do um, a little border is uh, nicer Tonight I almost um, I was tempted to do uh, uh, gremlins. I think I'll do that uh, next time. I wanted to do um, uh, maybe the Mogwai, you know, and um, and then have uh, him uh, as the uh, Let's collab collapse this. Ah. <clears throat> have the Mogwai and uh, and have a 
an evil uh, gremlin, uh, the chief, uh, the the remember the boss of them. He was uh, he had uh, they could recognize him because he had a uh, um, a mohawk, like kind of a white mohawk or something. It looked uh, the hair looked different. Ah, uh, that was uh, that was funny actually. Glue, glue. When he jumps into the water, I really like the the first Gremlins. It was a lot of fun, and it had this uh, sort of a nice uh, Christmas uh, feel to the to the movie. The little town, the little. Uh, Retro American uh, town in winter with all the uh, nice uh, lights uh, decorating and decoration on the houses. I always like this, uh, the smooth um, Spielberg has done some of that. Um, it's always uh, nice when they uh, set up uh, a film in a very specific time of the year. Gives a context to things. So there is another thing that uh, just I'm just sort of uh, talking of a bit of everything there, since uh, this is kind of a bit boring to watch. Um, there is uh, something that I'm already quite um, passionate about, and that's uh, called the. Uh, interactive uh, fiction which is a really big word for uh, big fancy word for um, uh, text adventure games and um, I've, uh, I really like uh, the Infocom ones uh, since then there's been a, a ton of uh, different um, There's been a, a, a ton of uh, new interactive fiction, always, uh, and uh, new tools, but uh, you can still, uh, to this day, uh, do the um, work in uh, Z, uh, um, with the Z interpreter, they call the Z interpreter, um, in the Inform, they have a, a software called the Inform for that. That is actually uh, very good, and um, and that's something on my list of uh, things that I would really like to do one day is um, a text uh, a text adventure, no graphics. You know, I know it's uh, sounds. Uh, a bit crazy uh, in this day and age not to have any graphics uh, but um, if you've played them um, if if you've ever played a, a text adventure game a really good one uh, it's uh, really amazing uh, how um, compelling it can be and actually um, I think it's a, it's a really a testament to to the power of uh, of writing and uh, and good design in general uh, because um, a game like uh, that I love from Infocom. Um, called the uh, Trinity 
and it's set uh, during the uh, the Cold War, where you um, you have this character that needs to um, um, basically uh, he will witness uh, every uh, test um, of uh, first uh, the uh, you know the Manhattan Project, and then uh, and then. Uh, follow the Hiroshima and it's also sort of a very uh, abstract very um um how could I say very so it's almost like a fantasy or a dream of someone uh, going through the different stages of uh, nuclear testing and uh, trying to prevent uh, the tests t to work uh and uh, you end uh, the story with uh, him uh diffusing the uh, the first uh, nuclear bomb that was uh, detonated in, in uh, I believe, 19... Uh, uh, in, you know, the, the, the first, uh, not, sorry, the, the, not the first atomic bomb, but the first uh, uh, thermonuclear device in 1960-something. Uh, uh, and, um, and then, uh, yeah, off, what was it? end of the 50s 1958 or something um, and then you prevent from this from working but it's such a fascinating really interesting uh, game uh, it took me weeks to finish it I, I wouldn't uh, I refused to use uh, hints I really wanted to find a solution by myself and uh, I was uh, determined to do that Took me a while, but eventually was able to uh, finish the story on my own, and uh, can tell you it was a, such a such a great uh, uh, such a unique experience, really. Um, and it collapsed everything now into one. be more consistent there I keep changing those borders because um, I don't know I feel like uh, they were a bit too thick and a bit too big Super uh, text adventures are very uh, interesting. There can be a lot of fun to play. They're real games, you know. They're not uh, like just uh, stories that you uh, progress through by just uh, clicking a, a button or making a simple choice. There are actually uh, various for for the the good ones at least are very uh, sophisticated. Uh, experiences actually I've seen uh, this is uh, in one of those games that uh, this Trinity I've seen some of the most uh, sophisticated uh, um, mechanics that I've ever seen uh, really a uh, really clever at least they're very clever puzzles. Make sure the shadow extends underneath. I said I'm a bit low energy tonight, uh, so I think I picked up something a bit more relaxed, uh, just a little uh, train station. Um, I will probably stop around the three hour mark. I think we'll be uh, by then we'll have most of uh, most of it done. 
except for minor detail and stuff like that. I think for the most part will be uh will be done. Um the main building So we're gonna have to have all the detail that's gonna help a lot. Um, and uh, let me think. Don't get that uh, sort of a bridge thing. Ends in a very uh, simple way. So I think I'm gonna need uh, some kind of better. Um, you know just a better um, something a bit more interesting there mm. and, uh, and I'll uh, we'll do that. Just a little tower thing at the end. Doesn't need to be much, but uh, it will go a little higher. So I don't like the tangent it craze creates there. And then uh, maybe uh, just an extra little thing there. I'm kind of a uh, freewheeling there, just you know having uh, having fun creating little uh, shapes and sections of uh, of building. something like this nothing uh, nothing too fancy but a little uh, antenna or something at some point um, some kind of uh, entrance there people to um, get into the station underneath you know and then through uh, the tracks they go in buy the tickets in there come back and then move around uh, then uh, end up on their platform which makes me think I need to suggest the platforms there I um, think I'll do that uh, right away actually um, another layer we'll do okay uh, we'll, we'll do something um, slightly uh, different uh, color for those uh, <clears throat> for those platforms maybe uh, something uh, cooler by that I mean uh, you know the hue a bit more cold like concrete and I need to find the proper it will go lighter maybe <clears throat> try different things and uh, see what sticks Getting uh, 
quite complex. Uh, we get uh, rid of our trains for now. I have to make sure they read properly against uh, the, the, you know, platform, train, all of that. Fairly uh, complex business. Hmm. Hmm. So there is a bit of a mistake there. I'm not sure why this is getting a. There is a. There's a mistake somewhere. Um. Two. 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 two, two. Uh. Getting so confused sometimes. Oh, there you go. That's where. But it's the same here. Okay, platform. So that train needs to be above the platform. No. Oh, actually I can't. I have to do to separate the platform in two because yeah. I have to because what happens is um I'll show you in a minute. What what happens is that the train needs to be above overlapping this one. Uh, this one. Actually, hold on. No, under this one and above this one. Uh, no, they're at the same level, actually. What am I doing? Yeah, they can't be that wide because I can't. Okay, this needs to move. Okay, hold on. This needs to move so we can see the track. There you go. And and then this platform needs to move as well. <clears throat> there. And then this needs to be under the train. There you go. Huh. Let's get rid of the train one more time. So actually this could be under It's really um can't overlap any of the tracks, even though it's a little higher. I mean, technically, it's a little higher than the tracks, but uh, there's only one pixel. If I go uh, too high, it'll look like the platform is uh, way like uh, one meter or so about the, or, you know, a few meters about the tracks, which is probably too much. I mean. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. 
so. It's probably too much. See what I'm trying to do, but um, hmm. maybe one pixel is overlapping and train overlaps this platform. <clears throat> And this one could be, oh, I think this is correct, that's the correct way. Okay, so now let's put back everything. So, uh, wait, there is another. Uh, so what I'll do, actually this, <laughs> what a nice. This needs to move over there. Yes. Because I can't have a platform between those two tracks. They're too close. So people wait for their train over there, over there. And this is a few like different uh, tracks, maybe for freight train going through. Uh, okay. So that ends somewhere. <clears throat> Try and find the oh <clears throat> the right. Uh, Right, the right color for that. <coughs> I don't know if I need to go dark. I don't want it to be too close to the, the that ground color. It needs to be separated one way or another. Um, <clears throat> maybe this will paint the same. layer there you go <clears throat> and the uh, we extend this. Need this needs to go above. Hmm. I have to put this yet in another layer because this needs to be overlapping. <clears throat> Something like this. No. Um I want it to continue outside. Maybe not actually. It doesn't really make any sense that you're gonna wait for your train outside there. 
we go through here and yeah I don't think uh, we want to do that actually so that the diesel there ah uh, every time I double click on a layer um, and bring this uh, it's because I'm going too fast and uh, I want to I want to click twice on this to try the you know visible not visible but I go too fast and uh, sometimes uh, I miss it and click there and so what it does is that uh, it will uh, open this this window but see there's I've got the little pizza wheel it takes some time every if I double click on this see how long it is I can't do anything there I have to wait wait there and so this uh, always bugs me down uh, it's annoying Very, uh, what the noise? Where am I going to put this other diesel? Where? Is somewhere there. Mm. What else? Uh, I don't know if it's the right uh, place for it. I guess that's fine. Um, now, okay, main building. Getting there, getting there, getting there, guys. So um, here we're gonna have a little bit of, uh, oh, you know. So actually, this is the moment we need to do that. Um, so. Uh, here we're gonna have um, a bit of a sort of a kind of old uh, look on this side, kind of all the grass, you know, around kind of sets in between the tracks and <clears throat> what else do they have around the tracks very well trying <clears throat> There's a bit of a green there. It's, it's kind of uh, it's kind of nice. So I could have um, a little uh, sad the tree there. Not as colorful as this. This actually is probably a bit too saturated. I'm gonna have to to take care of that. Um, but I think here. I want uh, mm, I can't wait to uh, start uh, collapsing uh, things a bit. Everything is getting a, a bit too um, complicated. I don't like when there's a million uh, layers like this. Um, trying to have maybe a. I don't know if I do a tree. Like a. 
Trees seem to be uh, out of place. Um, but if I could just simulate a little bush, you know, on the side, I think that would be that would be better. Um, saturation goes down, and then um, we'll do a bit of lighting on them. Let's go a little lighter, more yellow. And uh, like I mentioned uh, several times, I think. Uh, vegetation is almost always the the darkest uh, thing in uh, seeing the trees very dark you look outside the trees are usually uh, very dark because there's a lot of shadowing and because of all this canopy you know creates a lot of a uh, lot of shadow so that's uh, why uh, it's almost like you can see the shadows like inside the volume of the tree that's why they they appear so dark on photographs so. <clears throat> in the city, it's almost uh, always uh, the uh, the darkest thing. Uh, for instance, um, we can go uh, Paris. Let's see how uh, this uh, this looks. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, that's a fair fairly natural photograph and see uh, how deep uh, the shadows get there everywhere and this is actually a lower value than this surprisingly that's yeah, another very good example very natural lighting um, and uh, look at how dark the trees are compared to everything else. They already suck up light. So it's always a something to keep in mind when you when you paint. Don't make the 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 trees and the vegetation and the bushes too light. It's a very uh, very common mistake among the uh, artists that are a bit less experienced. But once you know it, then uh, you're good, you know, you, you won't make that mistake again. And that's, um, I think that's uh, what, um, what I've, what it comes down to. It's always uh, making sure that uh, you know a few uh, of the main uh, rules and you're being a bit methodical about uh, applying them in the beginning and then they'll become very uh, sort of a second nature you you won't even think about any of that stuff uh, but you will uh, benefit from it just naturally but in the beginning it's uh, i think it's important to to be a bit uh, systematic try to analyze the work and uh, see if you get uh, all your uh, stuff so and everything sorted out <clears throat> I think we'll probably have some kind of a tree bag maybe a little tree bag there I don't know. Um, gonna like to uh, always uh, add a just tiny bit of uh, vegetation it's always nice when you can do it, don't want to force it if it doesn't feel uh, justified, you know. But if you can, uh, then uh, it's 
And that's that's good here. Yeah. That size uh, that is hard to get the uh, right portions for a trunk and <clears throat> usually you barely see them with the see the trunk with the perspective and they cannot be uh, overlapping everything. <clears throat> may uh, end up looking uh, a bit too complex uh, and if it's too much I'll, for now I think I'm gonna leave it I think it's important that the train station looks a little bit in a urban area so don't want too many trees um, maybe that's, that's uh, more recommend um okay so now what we could do so we have train we have i wonder oh train is a bad that tangent there uh, we, want, we want to be able to see uh to see it. Oh, it's better if it's closer to this guy, actually. Yeah, feels, uh, feels nicer. <sighs> I'm so tired. I know I uh, complain a lot. <laughs> um, it's true, I'm very... <clears throat> I would like to, uh, if possible, to, uh, to uh, um, no. If I can, I'd like to uh, finish uh, this one up tonight. And we're not uh, like this sort of stuff. We're we're close and far at the same time because um, there isn't. Uh, I mean, most of it is in place now. Most of the stuff is there. But um, it's uh, to get the final or little uh, polish. Sometimes uh, can be uh, quite uh, time consuming. <clears throat> hmm. Oh. My train there. Hmm. I would like to see this Scott, but the uh, screen's a weird, uh, weird tangent there. So, what's the best? So yeah, that's exactly what I was uh, mentioning earlier. Was saying that uh, train would uh, probably um, end up uh, would end up uh, moving quite a lot. Maybe you can adjust uh, this actually. Uh, making uh, this a bit uh, not as high via yeah, that that would make sense hmm. 
It's another tangent there. Huh. If I can move the entire building in. One pixel down. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Very simple. There you go. Longer bridge. Very simple. Oh, no. Wrong again. Ah, you evil. Evil. Uh, hold on. Like this. That's the yes. And we are good. So now no more tension there. Nice and clean read on the. Um, the tower, nice placement of the train. This creates a um, little uh, issue there. But this, uh, this I can fix. <clears throat> that shadow. Uh, What am I doing? Crazy, crazy. Shadow, okay. Okay. Ah, same thing. Ah, I lose so much time with this every time. So annoying. Extend the shadow there. Okay, now I have to fix this thing. Let's fix it. Uh, <clears throat> kind of a weird uh, shape up there. Uh, <clears throat> could almost do a little uh, rooftop like this one, I wonder. Let's uh, try uh, a little... Uh, um, Roofed up uh, at an angle. And so this and this get shadow and um, and light 
so that's light, that's shadow. I mean, no guarantees, but it might be interesting. Uh, so tiny, tiny. Need to make sure the the angle feels uh, right. Not always the easiest. Something like this, kind of nice. Huh. Oof, my eyes. <laughs> uh, so much uh, little stuff to take care of. Uh, but we can have a nice little border there. Since we're here. <clears throat> we could have separation like a Overlap there. With all those little lines, those little little trims, and they add a, a lot to, um, and they get create this uh, illusion of a, or a complexity when there's really uh, nothing uh, very complicated about that. Uh, when you think of it, there's no real detail, but it's enough to. Um, Wrong one. Uh, it's enough to. What am I doing? To convey um, the illusion of it. See, this is nice. Uh, just uh, changing the hue of the rooftop, um, I think, uh, adds a, uh, a nice. Uh, it's a nice uh, touch, you know. Yeah, I think. Uh, I like this better. <clears throat> we can leave this one a little uh, different. Don't mind that uh, they don't have to be exactly the same. Um, and that's something that uh, I think generally um, is important. Um, is uh, like uh, here. There's a few a little different variation in color, and uh, very the very uh, see this shadow is a little more green. There's a lot of um, really subtle uh, color variation that you can put everywhere, in uh, and uh, if you do that uh, consistently, uh, just uh, make sure that uh, see uh, nothing is uh, too much. Uh, there's just a bit of uh, interesting uh, shift and hue and like this to this, you know, uh, that creates a, that's a, always nice because uh, you know, if you look at buildings outside, uh, so they don't uh, use the same materials on, on the entire wall or sometimes a pot uh, will be a little more dirty than an, another and so it creates all those uh, interesting uh, color variations. And it's the same in nature. Um, you see uh, trees, they don't exactly have the same color. They could be the same species, same lighting condition and everything. And some of them will be uh, just a little different uh, 
uh, grass will be a little drier in their areas and a little wetter in some other and it can be quite subtle uh, but uh, sometimes a, a little more er uh, dirt will be seen through it in other areas that are a bit thicker and in the end all of this creates a, a lot of a, sort of a um, uh, chromatic uh, chaos if you will uh, that uh, you can uh, try and uh, inject in the work uh, trying to make it uh, subtle though uh, you don't want uh, this to be overwhelming because uh, if you do it uh, if you overdo it uh, things will look just uh, simply uh, uh, um, um, too busy in uh, in uh, generating not right so you can just uh, um, keep that in mind and uh, have uh, <clears throat> nice uh, subtle uh, variations you know. uh, bit of a shadow there if we can kind of hard to picture uh, this train creates this little dots because it's, uh, it's too uh, hmm. is yeah, right at the edge and Moving too much, and maybe I ought to do to do this. Then, you know, that's okay, I guess. <clears throat> Three uh, hours and uh, almost fifteen minutes now. I think I should uh, probably do um. Go. Okay, so let's um. Okay, the tracks won't move anymore so I can safely collapse this with the tile shadows we're gonna keep separate so we have a platform there fortunately I can collapse it because if I do then I have to take the shadow on the train with me uh, <clears throat> actually hold on no, I can't, I can do it. If I would, underneath, there is one there, okay. Uh, that platform can go there as well. Better, and then uh, we get the building here. You know what they have sometimes in, uh, I feel like, in train stations? Uh, sometimes they have a little flags or something at the entrance, no? I think, I think they do. Maybe it's inside more than outside. Well, I guess if I put a, um, uh, a flag outside, it might more look like a, an official building like a consulate or an embassy or you know a parliament or something so maybe i ought to leave that for uh, actually that would be an interesting building to make you know those are i can i can make a courthouse for instance i think i'll do that i'll do a courthouse uh, and then we can have a uh, little flags outside and stuff a bank to a bunch of uh, buildings and and why so many uh, 
different kind of environmental buildings because then it will um, affect uh, your uh, chances of rolling uh, this or that type of, of loot. Uh, if you go in a bank, obviously, there's good chances you're going to find uh, cash, which is useless because you don't, you know, the uh, civilization has uh, collapsed, so there's no really uh, use of cash anymore. Um, but you may find uh, uh, weapons uh, from the guards near the bank. Uh, and um, <clears throat> but uh, if you go into a train station then you may find uh, resources like uh, metal uh, in, uh, in abundance you know from trains and tracks and stuff uh, you, you may find also uh, a bit of food because they have uh, in those places they have uh, restaurants or little uh, you know, food uh, dis distributors or stuff like that. So, kind of, it will depend on, you know, where you are, uh, what you can find. Um, and I think I'll have uh, four types of resources, plus all the items you can find. So, in a, in a bank, like I said, you could find uh, uh, guns, uh, you could find, uh, uh, what else, I don't know, like, a, like a, a portable computer or something, you know, in a the train station you may find um, some uh, some tools or stuff like that you know like a big wrench or something and uh, and so the different uh, sort of resources would be metal I think and then wood sorry food and um, fuel no gas gas for all the uh, to make the to do uh, for the vehicles and uh, cars and motorbikes and boats and whatever and then you'll have wood would be to wood and metal combined to manufacture certain ob objects so you might be able to craft a few a few items I'm not sure about that yet but could be and then uh, um, uh, metal would be to repair the vehicles that have been damaged and then uh, uh, wood would make a fire at night and uh, and then food well it's uh, pretty uh, self-explanatory so so your characters would have to uh, scavenge whatever they can find and then find good items keep them and then use them and then find interesting synergies between characters with the weapons they use or even the tools they use or whatnot because uh, I really don't want to make the game uh, just uh, all about uh, combat um, actually um, there's a, uh, a board game that I really love it's called um, it is called um, Robinson Crusoe and this is exactly what you think it is it is a survival on a uh, desert island and it's a very, extremely brutal very difficult uh, it's you can play it solo co-op and basically you have a, like a seven or eight uh, scenarios that are given with the, the game and there's been an expansion since then and uh, each scenario revolves around uh, something you have to uh, in a different island that have a, uh, has a, its own uh, set of challenges so for instance the very first island you um, the first scenario you uh, uh, so you um, you end up uh, wrecked on, a, on an island you know uh, uh, stranded on a desert island and, yeah. should uh, take all my wire there and then uh, so you have to uh, the goal is to uh, survive uh, long enough and also by a certain uh, month the game is uh, in uh, hold on. Can't wait for uh, for all electricity to be wireless. Sorry, I'm just fixing my mess there. Okay, so um, 
um, where was I? Oh, so yeah, Robinson Crusoe. So it's uh, it takes uh, the game takes um, uh, um, it's divided in days, and it's really something that I'm gonna get very inspired from. I'm gonna use uh, some of their uh, similar mechanics, or at least the structure of the game. Um, and uh, so it's uh, day uh, days are passing, and uh, every day you have uh, during the day you have to scavenge for things, uh, s uh, solve uh, problems, uh, hunt. Uh, um, uh, gather, um, you know, uh, food. Um, you have to uh, uh, build uh, your um, shelter and do that sort of stuff. So, and at night, um, you have to have food for every character and you have to have a shelter for them or they will take a hit, you know, on their, uh, on their health and, uh, or their moral or both. And, um, and you have to, uh, stock enough wood by the by day uh, 15 or so I don't remember the number of turns and by then you have to have a uh, or it's turn nine let's say turn nine but then you have to have a, a stock uh, a pile of like 15 wood resources because they're they're at this point in the game they they tell you there's gonna be a boat uh, getting uh, on the horizon you have to create a big pyre uh, so that can be seen from a distance so they can rescue you. So you win the game by having enough Having a stockpile this wood by uh, this uh, deadline But the problem is that while you uh, The wood you also need it to build your own shelter and to make your own uh, fire at night not to get too cold and uh, And so you have to have a, you have to always make a very difficult choices and you can build items and stuff like that, but uh, to build items and it takes time, and so it takes away from uh, uh, looking for the resources you need. So you have those four characters, or two or three, or uh, uh, one up to four, and then um, you have to use them uh, to the best of your ability to um, to manage all those uh, things together, all those problems. And the combat uh, is a uh, hunting. Actually, you can hunt creatures. Um, I've played uh, many hours, uh, quite a few hours of this game, uh, a couple of scenarios, and uh, I've never hunt almost because you don't really need to hunt in the first uh, couple of scenarios. And uh, still, the game is uh, super challenging and interesting and tense, and they're without any combat. So I really don't want to make a game that would be like. The darkest engine, for instance, where it's all about combat all the time, pretty much. You know, you go from one room to another, and then you interact with a few curio with the curios. But for the most, uh, the exciting part is the combat and the setup of your uh, of your team um, uh, of your party before you uh, you go into the dungeon. And it's fine; it works uh, great for them. But for me, uh, I want to make something that uh, focuses more on. Uh, survival aspect and in, uh, in uh, you know finding a vehicle uh, making sure it works and then uh, because you have a vehicle you can uh, uh, go to places uh, faster so you have better chances to find loot that is more interesting then you meet people and you try to recruit them some of them work don't work together uh, you get rid of them or they leave um, and then every day is a struggle or some problems uh, occur or, and then you have a certain uh, set, uh, the number of turns to uh, resolve them and all that sort of stuff. Now, uh, weather can come into play and be a problem. Uh, you have to make sure your shelter will be good. If you have a vehicle, you're sheltered at night. Uh, and I'll divide the game in uh, hours. Uh, uh, every action would take, let's say, two hours. Uh, and you have a six, uh, uh, 16 hours of a uh, day and uh, that you can uh, 16 hours you can use for your day for your activities and eight hours that you use at night uh, to sleep and rest and all and um but you can extend you can have them work longer or rest longer depending on what you prefer with the consequences that uh, that would have and so so you have a set number of actions you can take within a day because every action search for this uh, fight uh, this thing, uh, um, you know, look for loot, uh, uh, repair vehicle, 
build an, uh, an item, all this would take uh, a turn, you know, or, uh, an, an action. And then, uh, so you have to use, the more people you have, the more uh, things they can do at the same time, especially if they're specialized in this or that area. And then, uh, and so you have to manage the time that you have during the day in order to have uh, enough resources to spend the night and not being uh, attacked at night by, uh, you know, aliens or whatever. And then also survive uh, the elements um, and the weather. So um, it's kind of um, the idea. So you may end up in a situation, for instance, where you're like, okay, um, I have, uh, uh, you know, I'm in this, uh, there's this building and uh, you, you look for resources in the building, can't find food and can't find metal, but uh, you have a car and the car is, uh, is, uh, has broken down. So then you decide you have, uh, not that many hours left in the day. So you can decide, but you need the food by the end of the day. So you can leave the car and go on foot, try to find new locations, find some food, but then, uh, you may, uh, not finding by the end of the day and then you end up too far from the car so you don't have a shelter at night so that's a problem uh, but you also may find the food it depends so then you can decide to stick with the car use more time to try and find the metal in that area to repair the car it's a risk because it takes time during the day and you won't have uh, that time to find uh, uh, food but uh, if you manage to repair the car and it leaves you a little bit of time with the car you can really go f quickly uh, to different locations much faster so you can find a farm find the food and by the end of the day you have your food and uh, it, since you're still in the car this serves as a shelter so you see it, it would be this sort of uh, mechanics this sort of uh, uh, situations uh, lots of uh, decisions involving uh, um, having consequences and uh, trying to find a balance uh, between uh, all the things you can do and the different approaches. <clears throat> kind of a longer sort of explanation there, but uh, I think it's uh, kind of want to uh, share a little bit about uh, uh, the idea that I have for the game because in the end uh, I may, I'm making all this to try and make uh, an interesting game I hope in the end and also there would be combat uh, of course but uh, that's why uh, because it's not a game about combat all the time and gaining XP uh, your characters wouldn't gain XP I want the runs to be fairly short too, not too long so that uh, you can uh, run the game uh, many times like a roguelike you know if uh, you lose your characters they're they're dead for forever until you restart the new run and um but uh, so because it's not uh, really a focus on combat um you can have characters that have uh, really uh, very poor abilities in combat uh, close to none like uh, let's say uh, look at uh, the roster there uh, you assume that uh, if you want uh, fighters, you want Rambo, you want Conan, uh, the Predator, you know, those people, they're really good at fighting. Uh, Sarah Connor. Um, some people are more balanced, um, like um, um, this guy. You know, he's good at fighting, but uh, the blondie, but he is also uh, quite resourceful, can do a few things uh, look for things and it's kind of smart um, she's more balanced to replay probably uh, but then uh, you have characters like uh, her she can't fight at all obviously but she has very uh, strong uh, psychological insight so she can convince people to join the team or leave the team or uh, the party uh, try to she can help uh, uh, alleviate uh, some of the tensions between her characters so that would be maybe her shtick, you know, her specialty. Uh, and Dorothy, uh, she could have, uh, she has the ruby slippers, so maybe she can teleport the whole party uh, in a safe place. Um, 
at any moment or something like this. So all the characters having their their sort of a core a special uh, a skill or specialty that they can use to help the team in a very specific area. And that's why you need different characters in order to be able to do various things. If you only have fighters, like you would be tempted to do, to, do, uh, to say, I, I, I just want the Terminator, Rambo, uh, and uh, the Predator, and Alien, you know, and I'm set, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna um, tear through enemies. Yeah, that's for sure, you'll, you'll kill everyone, but then, the team might completely implode. Those guys will want to fight all the time together. So you'll have a really hard time getting them to uh, to agree on anything or to uh, even stay within the same team. Um, uh, you may uh, have uh, him that is obsessed by a certain other female character that uh, you know, and then he may want to uh, look for her in a situation so he's a bit uh he's a, he's a problem i want uh, the characters to have quirks um, and weaknesses like uh, they have in uh, the darkest dungeon that's a really good aspect so he's obsessed uh with uh, finding sarah kind of uh, so that may uh, uh hinder his progress and also um they can fight but they also they can't uh, you have a party that is very poor not very good at finding uh, uh, resources. Um, this guy uh, doesn't uh, eat uh, normal food, so he doesn't care about food. Uh, this guy doesn't care about food, food either. He doesn't care about food. So they don't need food, but then this guy needs it, you know, or this one. And so that, so he, you need some for it. So, but uh, you're going to have a hard time finding it because they're, very poor at finding uh, any kind of resources because they don't need any resource. So you see, there's it's uh, all that sort of uh, stuff, and also they're very poor psychologically. This guy is a pure aggressor. Uh, this guy is a predator. This guy is a hunter, pretty much uh, obsessed with killing one person. And this guy, okay, he's he's more of a, a bit balanced, but mostly they have a zero psychological. Uh, insight or ability uh, to communicate so uh, with these guys it's almost impossible to recruit anyone that has a bit of a brain you know indiana jones wouldn't want to hang out with those guys they're just uh they're brutes you know they're they're just they look like uh, cretins to him so that's uh kind of uh, the idea to managing all those uh different uh, characters <clears throat> okay. three and a half hours I've uh, spent a lot of time uh, talking about many things uh, sorry so this doesn't uh, help to uh, to get going I'm gonna take uh, I really like this little uh, thing on the roof um, so I'll uh, steal it. We're gonna put this on our uh, train uh, station. It uh, it is big though, not the same scale. So we'll uh, find a way. Um, air building. Hmm, on that. This, I'll take care of the shadow in a separate. Uh, so make it uh, smaller. <clears throat> and uh, we'll uh, 
said this. Adjust the color of it. Hmm. Maybe it needs to be a bit darker than the than the ground actually. Bit more red. Looks a bit uh, complex now. Let me keep it uh, simple. So still a bit uh, big I find. I ended up removing so much that uh, nothing <laughs> will be left. Can uh, place it there. It's kind of nice. And um, so building here. Uh, <clears throat> I have a, a shadow or some salt. The brown. I mean, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go. Uh, Like this. Um, not easy at this size to get the right angle on the shadow. <clears throat> yes, sir. That has to be uh, something like this, mm. and I'm gonna go uh, lighter on the top. thing like this then we'll have other little uh, vents and stuff very simple two little vent um, then we can have some kind of See if I can do a <clears throat> some kind of a pipe or you know something like a, like this, like a um. Don't know if I'm gonna do this right. Like this. Um, I don't know if I like the 
those to a position like that here. Also, could have a little highlight there. Maybe a bit a bit better. Like this. What else do they have? So there's this little thing there. See they have uh, all the different some some sort of I don't know what this is. Probably some air conditioning or something. Same thing here. It's kinda nice. They have the little uh boxy thing with some uh and tubes connecting to it. We can do um another <clears throat> Another type of uh, boxy thing. <clears throat> um. So it's uh, it's funny how you can tell the angle of things even at such a small size. Yeah. Like this. Like to uh things generally like this one to be quite dark, just di different from the other ones. Like uh, this. Try to see if uh, we can squeeze another little, uh, I don't know what, what that would be. Some sort of a pipe. Mm -hmm. Maybe a uh, tire connector. Uh, those uh, two things. It's uh, probably a little, uh, yeah, it's a bit too, uh, too complicated. There's uh, no point, I think, making this. Um, but uh, we can have uh, maybe uh, some other detail. Like here, uh, <clears throat> see if uh, this would help. Mm, maybe a bit, a uh, bit much there. I don't know. I think uh, it's okay, but yeah. Uh, It's a bit too similar to, to that. Um, Ok, 
Okay, not too bad. I just realized that I haven't uh, flipped uh, anything very uh, dangerous. It's very unusual for me. I've never flipped it so far. Yeah, it's okay. I was worried that it would look a bit uh, weird once flipped, you know. Um, sometimes uh, you realize some uh, balancing issues or um, perspective. In that case, you can't really have any perspective issue because they are very, uh, it's very systematic, you know, it's very, there's no perspective, it's all isometric, so you don't have that problem. But uh, yeah, it's kinda, it's kinda nice, I feel. Pretty consistent. Um, I'm not done yet, uh, not quite, but uh, getting there for sure. Um, yeah, this is a bit uh, of a problem, this tangent as well. Um, I wonder um, if I should try and fix this. I find it strange that there's no tangent there, but there is one here. I mean, technically, it should be exactly the same, same level. Bit uh, confused here. Let's see. Just to see where it lands. Uh, it's uh, fairly okay, actually. This would maybe need to be one pixel more. It would be actually two. Let's try and uh, do this. No, I messed up. Ah. Like this. Very simple. Two on this side. I don't have to. Wait. No. Ah. Uh -uh. Am I going crazy or what? Two, two. No. Like this. Two, two. Okay. Ah. Uh, not very logical. Is this maybe? Yeah. No other choice. So now uh, no more tension there. Feels a bit better. <clears throat> Let me 
flip this again. Yeah, it looks a little uh, offset there. I have to do the same for here. Um, it's unfortunate because this is all uh, very precise. Mm. Actually, so what I can do is this. <coughs> Two more pixels there. Two here. Two there, one here. <clears throat> yeah, it's a bit unfortunate there, but what I can do maybe is have a window that does the angle like this. It's actually uh, nice, I think. I think we can do that. Uh, hold on, so this would be that color, like that. Okay. Um. I think it's it's fine to do that. Actually here, I think it's inverted to me. Do that. Poof, poof. There. Um, so I got that. Few more details in here on the top there, and maybe there. Oh wait, what's going on? Ah, I forgot all that. What are you doing? Yeah, fixed. Um, <clears throat> then. Couple more um, of those uh, things. We don't have to be uh, reinventing the wheel every time for positioning of this better to have uh, another window. On the side like this is nice. Maybe another one around here. Hmm. Huh. Mm. Not the same. Um. What else can I do? Very small stuff. I mean, it, it, you know, it's, it's really just sort of a random, um, not random, but uh, little uh, variations like I was mentioning, you know, of uh, color and stuff. I 
have been just some kind of separation there. Actually, you know, one of the things we need to do now is also introducing this, uh, this little uh, weathering here and there. So everything is not, uh, oh, perfectly, uh, you know, things are not uh, pristine. It's uh, quite uh, important to do that. And it doesn't have to be uh, like a Can't overdo it. So uh, just uh, shit. Sorry, sorry for the bad language. <clears throat> Try not to to swear too much or use a uh, bad words in the uh, in the uh, in the stream. I do that enough in. Uh, in real life that uh, I don't think it's uh, to me um, I don't think it's a uh, very uh, nice to hear um, I know a lot of the uh, streams they have uh, <coughs> they have a uh, very uh, colorful language and uh, you know it's uh, it's it's fine for them but uh, for me, I've uh, realized that uh, I don't know, kind of makes me a bit uh, I generally uh, like uh, when things are chill, you know, just uh, relaxed. So I feel like uh, the, um, the streamers who uh, have a lot of uh, the the swearing and and all that stuff, they 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 stress me out a little bit. I'm not offended by the language, you know, at all. I don't care, but um, but I get I don't know. It's 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 hard to describe. I get uh, they get me into a more aggressive uh, mood, I guess. Uh, not as relaxed and so it's not very um it's not a good it's not a good experience to me and so i don't know uh, how it is for some of them they're really funny you know and they use it they use the language and in uh in uh in funny ways so there's some humor, um, and it's a bit uh, light-hearted, then uh, usually I like it uh, way better. The only really thing that uh, I have a problem with is uh, when they get into very uh, toxic uh, in, a, in a very toxic uh, mindset because uh, you know, it's very competitive. I understand why people, uh, you know, get into um, uh, in things that are a little heated. Because uh, competitive gaming will do that and you will awake the, um, 
you know, the sort of the, the instinct of uh, competition and uh, and being better <clears throat> than the guy next uh, to you, you know. Okay, so a bit of weathering and sh things that are a bit more complex on the roof. Hmm. I feel like uh, there are some empty areas there. Not that you have to feel uh, every uh, inch of the uh, of uh, the image, you know, but um, but I feel like it is still uh, still things we, we can do. I think. Uh, And actually, um, I, something that I've uh, noticed that I find interesting is uh, the more you um, you swear, and the more you you want to swear, you know. But um, if you um, if you make the conscious effort of uh, trying to articulate uh, your thoughts uh, in a in an interesting uh, way uh, trying to find the right word for the right expression you can still be um, expressive and have uh, some intensity in your in your uh, positions or whatnot but you do it with other tools uh. and uh, doing this I've realized that uh, after a while, uh, a little while, it becomes a uh, just a normal thing, and you you feel less the uh, the urge to to swear or use uh, you know funny bad words. It just it just kind of goes away naturally. Strange. At least for me, for me, it does. And I don't know if it'll stay like this. Maybe I'll get uh, some uh, some point I will miss the uh, I want to go back to uh, being a bit more uh, like uh, natural like I'm in real life. Being a bit more blunt, but uh, so far I don't uh, be comfortable like this. I think. Um, what do they have around? Like, what's the thing when you think of train station? So parking lot, but uh, there's not much. I guess we could have a suggestion of a. A parking lot there, but then what would it be? A bunch of uh, little, you know, little cars or whatnot, dark cars. Huh. Is that is that really uh, hmm? Hmm. 
it's kind of, you know, you don't really know what you're looking at. Don't know if that's a very good idea. Um, <laughs> there's nothing on this roof. I guess I could have uh, maybe a little, uh, little antenna. I don't, I don't think they have uh, antennas on this uh, types of buildings. Hmm. Probably not. In the too low. I'm not sure, but I think the probably a bit too low. I don't know how this uh, works actually. Um. I mean, we could have a colorful thing here, just you know, for, just for the sake of having it. Hmm, maybe there. Quite simple. Then uh, maybe another little boxy thing. Very small one. This, these things tend to work better in pair or. Yeah, I think it's uh, plenty now. I really don't think we need uh, more. Uh, one thing I could do uh, is um, on the platform they have uh, lights uh, for you know so that uh, when you're waiting the for the train at night, you um, you know you can see uh, you can see. So maybe I can have a couple of uh, lighting uh, <coughs> I mean they have a, kind of a specific uh, shape most of the time. <coughs> I don't know if I mean maybe and then uh, here um, they have a uh, the, the little lights you know they are on the side of the train tracks uh, train uh, lights uh, so I don't know if it's gonna show yeah there's the crossroad and yeah, so this sort of sort of light it's kind of simple and this sort of a gantry uh, that they have uh, above to um, but it's just going to end and uh, it's gonna end up uh, just too um, too complicated in the end. Uh, the white cross, but uh, there's no crossroad there on a, on a something like this. Not on a 
on a train station they wouldn't have a, unless for personal you know like your maintenance vehicles but uh, no I don't think they would have that Train signal, whatever, how do you call that? Yeah, so that. So green is on top. Oh, there you go. So we can do reduce speed. We can do yellow and green. So yellow and uh, green. I don't know if uh, if it will uh, sh really show. It doesn't doesn't uh, really uh, feel like. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I ought to go for for the classic. Uh, The classic yellow, and that's it. And maybe yeah, those things they need to be a little lighter. <laughs> or red. Or or red line eh, it's it's yeah whatever I think it's just at this point it's it doesn't even uh, I don't think it even matters at this point it's so Just a little thing. Um, can I add uh, one more light uh, around here? Maybe uh, behind there. Like that. I think that's fine. So, yeah, I think uh, I think that's going to be it for this uh, this uh, little uh, train station, which is not little; it's actually quite big. Um, I'm going to so this we can uh, I think we can commit to that. This would require or. Oh, just a bit more contrast, maybe getting uh, quite uh, bright, uh, getting the sunlight, you know. Mm. Mm. Nah. Doesn't it look like it's changing anything. far with the that uh, weathering I want no 
also this is too much. everything to be too a um, few areas but uh, that's it oh there's nothing there wow completely forgot this uh, this area there would be maybe a little, uh, little doorway there <clears throat> Uh, be good if we could uh, simulate, uh, uh, you know, s staircases uh, going down, but uh, <clears throat> there is no way. Uh, um, I mean, I don't even know what to do there. So really not much uh, that uh, we can do. I guess I could suggest an extra little trim there. Maybe I could do that. Just an extra little double trim. I think it's probably okay now. It's a bit much. Yeah, I mean, uh, hmm. Wow, four hours and uh, twenty. So uh, still, and uh, still going. <clears throat> I, s I sure took uh, my uh, sweet time to do this one, um, but uh, like I said I was, I was getting a sort of a tired uh, for not sleeping enough uh, at night. That's entirely my fault, by the way. So uh, no, uh, no complaints to anyone except me. <coughs> I need to be more careful with that. Um, simplify this. Uh, okay. So I think um, at this point uh, we're almost uh, pretty much almost done. Got a little, little train station. Um, <clears throat> now the the only uh, question that rem oh actually I don't have a shadow for the train. Uh, it's going to be uh, almost impossible to to see, but uh, I guess we could try uh, just having a little something there. I mean, you can see it a little bit. Um, usually I won't put shadows for those things because it won't even, it's going to create too much uh, complexity, I think. Yeah, so I mean, I think we're gonna call this um, the uh, yeah, and I'm even going to I 
think um, it's just that diesel there looks uh, oh looks a bit funky there Sh oh I actually should be behind the train oh but above above the building uh, like so so might be oh maybe here <clears throat> they can have my uh, other train there and uh, and another one that would be you know on this uh <clears throat> Uh, another one they'd be back there and this one uh, I mean it's too complicated that's that's good enough I think uh, we don't need more on that so where do you I think one last thing. Just for just for fun there. Um <clears throat> we'll see if we can have a little uh So there's a little uh, side the building there. So it could be nice to just fill in that place, that spot a bit. stuff that needs to be removed. Not uh not sure. maybe like this and then uh mm. Mm. 
Wait a minute, uh, there is uh, stuff on top there that I need to get rid of. Oh, there I go. Oh, I stole the train doing this. Crazy. Okay. I mean, I think it's uh, it's nice to have a little something on the side like this. Doesn't that doesn't bother me? Thing. Yeah, I think it's fine. So, um, and maybe we don't need this. Maybe we just need that. Simpler. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Hmm. It was actually better with the uh, little door. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, at this point, um, so much stuff. Um, I don't want it to get to a point where it starts looking too busy, more complex, and different style than the other buildings, you know. So. And this train station would be a little more messy than an hospital. Hospital is a little cleaner outside, so that's fine. I think uh, we uh, we can uh, we can deal with that. But that's uh, as uh, complicated, I think, uh, as I should go. Um, at this point, honestly, I think it's all good. So I'm probably going to, well, I keep the layers for now, but I think I'm going to collapse everything uh, very quickly now. Um, yeah, I won't keep any of that uh, stuff separated. <clears throat> Okay, I think the level of contrast is seems to be okay. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna be good. I have a dentist appointment tomorrow at night, so I can't really stay uh, up uh, too long anymore, uh, especially considering a uh, lack of sleep that I've uh, accumulated. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up now. Um, so okay, that's uh, that's it. That's the uh, the result. In 
there you go so um thank you guys for being here as usual um it's always a uh, it's always great to know that a few people uh, hang in there with me uh, and uh, hang out and then uh, spend some time uh, to chill and uh, talk, do a little bit of art. It's good. Uh, it's good fun for me. So um, so thank you. Um, and then. Um, it's a good uh, it was a good change uh, to do a building for for once um uh, i think i missed uh, doing some uh, some environment a little bit so well maybe uh, we'll see what we do next time so uh, next uh, stream will be on uh, friday uh, same time 9 p.m uh, pacific time and uh, we'll uh, we'll see what we do uh, maybe i'll announce it a little earlier during the day or we'll decide last uh, last minute on the stream um, okay, thank you guys. Um, have a good one, and then uh, hopefully uh, uh, I'll see you on uh, on Friday. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>